when I play the violin, I can't tell you how many times I wanted to give up on this violin because this isn't for me. I'm deaf. Deaf people doesn't, don't not get involved in music. But I learned to play my violin. Again, instead of coming up with an excuse, I'm deaf, I don't need to play, I try to come up with a solution. And you know what my solution was? Because I don't have very good intonation. I don't have very good, um, I have good rhythm and beat, but not good intonation. So I learned to play the violin, not by hearing it, but by feeling it. That's right, you got it, Karen. The vibration. And so every time I put the violin next to my cheekbone, the conductive sound, the conductive vibration, sends a signal to my brain. And that's how I learned to play the violin. But I had a problem. As I got to this point, and you know, I played in the orchestra, um, how do I know if I'm in sync with the other instrument? How do I know if I'm playing at the same time with them? And I got so scared thinking, if I'm off beat, I'm gonna mess up everybody. And I got so scared, I came up with another solution. I tried to be creative, and I realized that I always have to stand to the left, right? And as long as I can see my next stand partner, his bow going up and down, that was my metronome. Just as long as he was on beat, <laughs> then everybody's okay, right? And so these are my brothers, and I love them. And so this is my, my younger brother right here. He's a master musician, and so I always relied on him, and I warned him that if you mess up, uh, we're all dead. We're all messed up. <laughs> so I always walked him in the corner of my eye as I played my violin. So anyway, just there's always a solution to any challenge that we may be facing, right? So, and I've already covered this already, but where uh, a courageous man finds a way, uh, I'm sorry, where an ordinary man finds an excuse, a courageous man finds a way. Now, I'm not saying I'm the courageous one here because I'm far from perfect. I have so many lessons that I still have to learn, but we can all learn from this, right? We can all take our fresh courage and and try to make things happen. So I love this, the word impossible. You know, even the word itself says I am possible. I love that. Again, it's, how, it's all about our attitude, right? It's about when we climb in these mountains, even though we feel like we're gonna fall, we can. I think I can and I know we can. And here's Grat, <laughs> bless his heart, right? The question is, what is your acorn? Perhaps when you strategize today and tomorrow, think about the acorns in your life. What is the, what's that passion that you want so bad that you will do whatever it takes, whatever it takes to get that acorn?